I'm Abel Garcia and right now on your 13 Action News update. In an effort to further cripple Russia's economy in response to their invasion of Ukraine, President Biden announced a ban on Russian energy imports to the U.S. He's warning Americans to brace for surging gas prices. And that message well received here in the Valley. We saw long lines snaking around local gas stations. Today, the national average for regular unleaded reached an all-time high of $4.17 per gallon. Nevada's Attorney General Aaron Ford is addressing the rising gas prices. He wrote in part, quote, as the prices for fuel increases, my office will use every tool at our disposal, including the laws we sponsored and passed last session regarding price gouging. March Madness descends on the Las Vegas Valley and the Orleans Arena is hosting the West Coast Conference Tournament. And in Henderson, the Valley's newest sports complex, the Dollar Loan Center, it's holding the first big event. Both men and women's teams duking it out for a spot in the NCAA Tournament. The five-day tournament will run through Saturday. And looking ahead, Harry Reid Airport is getting ready for fire training tomorrow. The aircraft rescue and firefighting team is planning to conduct a live fire training. Now this could lead to loud noises, smoke and fire alarms on the airfield. The airport says there's no need to worry if you see or hear any of that. It's all part of the drill. Danny. Our warming trend takes temperatures back to 70 degrees on Wednesday, a beautiful day with a lot of sunshine and calm wind for the first half of the day. But you'll notice a breeze increasing by Wednesday night. That's ahead of a strong cold front that brings gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour on Thursday. Wind advisory going in effect across the region. Also tracking that drastic drop in temperature. We fall about 15 degrees below normal to the mid 50s with an isolated rain chance, but warming up, calming down heading into the weekend. Thanks, Danny. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTMB.com.